So it is the next day. Today is Saturday, April 23rd, I think. Um, we brought the chicken in from the fridge outside. I never got to, or got around to showing the actual process of butchering the chickens because we only ended up having 19 chickens left and the process went so fast that Brian had six killed before I could even grab my phone and it just went super, super fast. So I showed you the setup of how we set up to butcher the chickens and I ran through the process of how we actually butcher them step by step. We skipped to the whole messy part and now we are going to show you how we butcher or um, how we wrap the, the chicken meat to go to our freezer. Now, if these chickens were left whole, we would use those um, vacuum sealed shrink bags, plastic bags. It just makes the work really easy. It's really hard to wrap a whole chicken in butcher paper and it's kind of wasteful in terms of the amount of paper you would have to use to. Some people do it, but we prefer those shrink bags, so they work really well. But for this round, we actually cut up all 19 birds. We chopped off the legs and thighs and the breasts and the tender meat, and we tossed the carcasses. They became, you know, turkey vulture, fox, coyote meat. Um, we donate that back to um, nature <laughs> over on another part of our farm where nowhere live, no one lives. So... Uh, with that being said, we have some thighs here and we have breast meat as well. Now, this is how we stack it straight from the fridge. We, once it's cut off of the chicken, the carcass of the chicken itself, we rinse the meat off, stack everything just in, we put thighs in this, as many as we could fit, and then we just cover it with plastic wrap or, or aluminum foil, and we just slid it back into the fridge. And then we have some of these cookie sheets too because we ended up with three cookie sheets full and this tub full. So we've already wrapped up all of the thighs that were in here and they are already in our freezer. We bring these trays in from the garage. We rinse the meat with cool water, especially the thighs because the thighs have so many little pin feathers left on them. You can, yeah, you can see them right there. So we take the time to really rinse and wash the meat now. So we rinse it, <laughs> hi Harper, and then it goes over here to these towels and London is on drying duty. I always pat the meat dry and as these towels get damp, we swap them out. We just run those through the washer on hot water. Um, so we have been packing, yeah, Harper is showing. We just pat them dry, that's all we do. We have been packaging three leg and thigh combos per butcher paper, and this is probably, I don't know, about 18 inches wide, I'd say. Three legs and thighs, and then we're doing either two really big chicken breasts, or we're doing three of the, of like the smaller size breasts, because not all breasts are created equal. <laughs> so there's a good example. You can see two to three. So these are like a medium size, and these are like a large size. This is a D cup, <laughs> D cup, and these are an A cup. <laughs> And then we also have the chicken tenders over here. We're packaging those separately. So we just kind of assembly line this. We have all of our tape strung across the countertop just to make simple work. And then we had all of our butcher paper, or at least a lot of it. <laughs> Say hi, Lennon. Hi. Uh, we had all of our butcher paper, or like 20 pieces of it already pre-cut just so that we could assembly line. So once we get our trays, there's another tray out in the garage yet. Once we get all three of these trays washed and lined up, then we're gonna go through and just really quickly wrap them and tape them. You just wrap them like a present. You just fold the corners in, get it as tight as you can without ripping the paper. And then I use probably two pieces of tape to hold it. Then we flip the package over and on the bottom side with a Sharpie, we write what is inside. We write two, two chicken breasts and then the date or three thighs and the date. Um, but we always make sure to label our meat really well. And then it, goes, then it goes down our basement steps and to our big chest freezer down there. So really the process yesterday only took about three hours from start to finish from the time we set up to butcher to the time that we had cleaned up, came in and sat down. Brian and I, it only took us about three hours to call all 19 chickens. 
Now this portion with the two girls helping me, I would say we're gonna be at this for about an hour if we worked consistently. So four hours and butchering about 20 chickens from start to finish and that's cleanup included. It's really worth it. All right, so whenever I wrap, Harper is manning the camera, whenever I wrap the meat, I like to, and I don't, I don't know if this is right or wrong. I'm not a professional butcher. I'm not anything like that. But what I do is I just kind of bring the corners up and then bring them up and over. It's kind of like wrapping a Christmas present. It is like wrapping a Christmas present, except our present is chicken. So this one had three, three breasts in it. And I just put some tape on. This really could have just gone with one piece of tape, but we're throwing extra on just in case. We're gonna flip it over. London is going to, well, I'll write it this time. I just write what is inside. Three breasts and then today's date. And that's it. And I just set it to the side and we're gonna get all of these wrapped and um, labeled. And then we're gonna go on to the next try. All right, there it all is. Finally. Finally. It only took about an hour. We have seven other packs of thighs down in the freezer already, but this is what we wrapped this time. So we ended up with 13 packs of thighs, 11 packs of breasts, well 12 technically, because we kept one out to eat tomorrow. So 11, 12 packs of breasts, and then we have two packs one two one pound packs of tenders.